Hello everybody, my name is Heather and welcome back to my channel. I am finally here with the long awaited update, first update to my Pan That palette. So I posted my intro a few months ago and I had actually intended on doing an update back in March. Um, my goal was to do one every couple of months, but time kind of got away from me. And so here's my first update in almost the middle of April. So there's a lot of progress on this palette. Um, if you didn't know, if you haven't seen my introduction video, I am panning the Coastal Scents Revealed 3 palette. So I have not really seen this palette anywhere on YouTube besides like actively searching for it and searching for reviews and trying to get ideas on looks and stuff like that. But just like of the people that I'm generally subscribed to and generally watch, like no one else has this palette, I don't think. I think Abby from Make Life Your Runway might have it, or maybe she has the second revealed palette, but whatever. Anyway, so I have a lot of progress to show you. I am going to insert a clip so you'll see what it looks like when I first started this project. Um, but here we go. As you can see right away, the first three shades are completely gone. And I knew they would be the easiest ones to use up because they were all matte shades. The first one was like basically my skin color. The second one was more of like a peachy skin color. Um, and the third one was a warm brown shade. So, but other than that, I did have pan on this kind of shimmery peachy shade, but I have definitely expanded the pan and I hit pan on this kind of shimmery bronzy shade which had a pretty sizable dip in it when I first started this pan that palette um, so it didn't take too long to hit pan there uh, this gold shade was virtually untouched when I started a lot of most of these shadows were like untouched when I started this project um, but I worked my way to pan on that gold shadow right there and have just since expanded the pan. I'm definitely wearing that on my eyes today. Um, I'll show you the other colors I'm wearing as I get to them. But I have really been enjoying this gold. Like <laughs> my favorite look to do is pretty much the one I'm wearing kind of like brown and gold. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot of pinks and purples <laughs> in this palette, which aren't really my favorite, but it's fun. I got myself into this. I'm going to get myself out of it. Um, speaking of like a pink, um, there's this cranberry shade right here. And it's a weird formula. It's kind of shimmery, but not not like super, super shimmery. Um, so I'm okay with using it in my crease, which that's kind of how I was able to hit pan on that. And then we have this light pink, which I have pan on. And I was using that just all over my eyelid. It's a weird formula. A lot of these are weird where it's kind of the actual shadow is matte, but it has these like odd chunks of glitter in there that just kind of like dust away. I don't know. Strange. But yeah, I, I worked hard to, to hit pan on that and just kind of like stopped using it. This, I kind of think of it as the Barney shade as in the purple dinosaur, because that's what that color kind of reminds me of. The light isn't really doing it justice. Played around with this one a little bit and I have barely touched this one, which looks like a gray, like a dark gray, but it has these purple, it's like got a purple tone to it that you can't really tell in the pan. Um, then moving down to the next row, you can see a little bit of a dip in this purple. So I've used it a teensy bit. Um, then we have this kind of grayish light purple that I've used in my crease a little bit. Um, there's some progress here on this very, very glittery light purple that I've just been trying to work with um, with Fix Plus and also I got this NYX setting spray that I've been trying to play around with with the shadows because um, you might know I'm, I'm trying to go cruelty free and Max not cruelty free so I'm trying to find like a replacement but anyway working my way through that one and then I've hit pan on this light shm, not quite shimmery I guess it's shimmery it's they're so hard to describe these shadows I guess it's like a satiny shade that gets pretty metallic when you when you use it wet, but it's definitely like a light pink here. So I hit pan on that. This one is 
still pretty much untouched except for swatching it. And then I have this uh, dark shimmery brown on my eyes today. Um, like on the outer corners and like I worked it into the crease it really I really like this shade it like smokes out a look really nicely um, so there's a bit, a bit of a dip in there um, and I also have this darker gold on my lids um, then the next one that's probably gonna get used up is this cooler toned brown that's the one with the biggest pan uh, besides obviously the ones that are gone so I use that as a crease shade or like a transition shade pretty much every day sometimes I wear it on its own honestly just to give my eyes some like definition and the last two we have here there's a tiny bit of progress on that matte plummy purple shade and then barely any progress on that shimmery black so th that's my progress like you as you see lots of progress I feel really really good about it I get a little obsessive and I start to just like stare at them and then I feel like a kid because I dip my fingers in there and just like paint them all over my my skin um if you are struggling with panning a palette I would say like that's my number one tip for sure is swatch 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 like put them put two colors kind of next to each other when you swatch them to see if maybe they'll look good together that's what I do a lot I still do it not as much as I did like at the beginning of this bye Harley and then get out of the shot just running away oh she's hiding under my desk for some reason so um yeah that's like my number one tip maybe it's tied with using shadows wet but those are two things that have really really helped me get through these shadows hopefully i update you guys a little bit sooner than three and a half months from now so um but it really seems like i'm still going strong i still have a lot of options with the colors obviously i've done like the goldy brown look but i've also done like the cranberry pinky looks and the purple looks and just all that fun stuff so um if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you like project pans subscribe to my channel because i do have um one project pan going on right now as well as a finish 17 in 2017 and a project polish not wearing any nail polish today i had to kind of like take a break from wearing nail polish but um i do project pans because they to me they kind of go hand in hand with my journey to minimalism i'm trying to just kind of use up the stuff that doesn't thrill me so i don't feel like i'm wasting anything um but my end goal is to kind of uh, minimize my makeup collection to the point where everything I own I really really love using and I kind of have like a one in one out system going so anyway if any of that ap appeals to you then you'll probably really like my channel and I'd love to have you as one of my subscribers um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye